on we go with our reviews of the upcoming season uh, and I chose the Serie A next which is hands down my favorite league um, unlike France, I'm really going to do this in four installments for now. Um, there is still a lot of information, not very much available at the time that I'm shooting this. Uh, you will see it a little bit later down the road since I'm scheduling these videos. So I'm sure there will be a fifth, if not a sixth video on Serie A, but I thought it's better to keep them short and sweet. And yeah, as I said, my favorite league. I pulled out a few of the Italian shirts that I have. Uh, of course, if I would pull out all of them out, we would see Milan, 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 Milan here. And the, it was hard to choose only three. This is like choosing between my kids, uh, with those Milan jerseys. So yeah, it's my favorite team. But we're not starting off with Milan. No, we're going again alphabetically. And let's get right to it. The first one that we're going to look at is Atalanta Bergamo, not too far away from Milan, uh, made by Homa. This is a very classic looking kit. The collar is a little bit very a standing collar, has a gap here and then there's a V insert that you uh, don't see that often. But yeah, it is blue with black stripes and a black tail uh, and white applications. Looks actually pretty sharp. Um, blue sleeves, yeah, for a black and blue kit. Yes, we know Inter is not my favorite, but I think this one looks really nice. Really good effort by home. I also like the black um, circle or the black stripe around the sleeve cuff. This is a nine star, even though the crest is centered, but this is really nice. Love it. Um, the away kit, yeah, I see what they're doing here and I like it. But the shoulders draw me off. So we have the blue and black stripe uh, separate by white and then just um, a little detail of the crest but really big which is nice but you know with Homa on the one side it looks even more off, uh, off than on the home jersey where you know the striping kind of distracts you that there's something missing on the left side of the jersey. But that wouldn't be that bad. I mean, I really like the horizontal stripes. The thing that uh, draws me off are the shoulders. Uh, the collar is also somewhere between a crew neck and a V neck. Yeah, 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 yeah. This hole uh, here ruins it a little bit for me. Uh, we're still gonna go seven. And then we have a third jersey. Yeah, straight off the 90s with kind of a cross. Uh, this is trying too much. That's kind of, you have the turquoise that goes into gray where a pattern that I cannot really uh, recognize. If you're an Atalanta fan or you know about it, let me know if there's any connection to that. I honestly don't like it. Um, the, even the sponsor you cannot see. And then you have the blue and black collar and sleeve cuffs which just don't fit with the rest of the jersey. They, is, they seem like grafted on. And again, you have the weird shoulders. That's one, yeah, that's a three. And I'm lenient here. I'm gonna give it to Atalanta, but this one, no, I'm sorry. Doesn't look good. Moving on, Bologna, another kind of biggish team in Italy. Yeah, you know, they're not one of the top top teams but on, on the next year. Bologna is a city that should be there and the whole world knows about Bologna. And I always loved their blue and red uh, kits. This one is actually asymmetrically in that it has very thick stripes uh, in blue and red but they are, they are split on the center so there's no center stripe. Um, but they should have gone full out with it because the sleeves are all on top uh, red and on the bottom blue. I think that's a missed opportunity. Go reverse the sleeves as well. I have a Barcelona kit that does that very, very well. So that's a missed opportunity. But other than that, again, a strong effort by Macron, which I don't have a Macron jersey yet, but I gotta give it to them. They have made really strong jerseys over the past few years. I really love them and that's something I have to get um, sooner or later. Um, yeah, it also has this shadow striping in there, which is like the Barcelona kit uh, from 1617. Where shall I go with this? I think it's a nice effort that the sleeves are off, but I think this, I would give it an 8. I love it that much. Enough. Do you notice the thingy 
uh, line sponsor. The Awakened is also super interesting. It is white, but the chest area up is horizontally striped in blue and uh, red with a v-neck collar. And then everything is white again. It looks a little bit odd, but I really like it too. Uh, just for the quirkiness, I give it a 7, but uh, again, a strong effort. Now, let's move on to the next Macron kit. Again, uh, blue and red. Cagliari, and I assume there will be a lot of sponsors here. I already see it with the away jersey. Uh, not going for a striping, but for a half and half look, and again, <laughs> looks good. Macron, really, I, once again, I gotta give it to them. I think Cagliari is, has a traditional half and half look. Uh, if, I, if you just look at the crest, uh, that should be their look. Give it to Macron, they are really producing classic jerseys and we'll see uh, quite a lot of Macron jerseys uh, in when we go through the Serie A teams. Uh, this one I like also a lot. Yes, there will be a lot of sponsors up there. Without, if it was just like that, I think this is a straight 9.5 to 10 stars. Uh, there will be sponsors, so I drop it down to 8. But it's really nice. Let's be lenient, 9. nine. I even like that the sleeve cuffs are um, on one side. Red on the blue sleeve and blue on the red sleeve. Really nice work. Uh, the away kit uh, plays off the half and half look. And here we see the full sponsoring. Um, it has the center stripe again in the club's colors, but then it makes it in, in, into white kit, where one side is entirely uh, with blue accent, the other one with red accent. Again, nice. Maybe the color is a little bit off, but uh, again, really nice shirt. Um, I would assume that what we see here sponsor-wise, we also will see on the home jersey, probably in white. Um, but I like it. That's another... Yeah, the broken the broken stripe kind of puts me off. Uh, but I understand why they're doing it, but it's a little bit too big, and therefore I give it just a 7. If that was continuous, really nice. So, and then one more to go in this first installment which is Kievo, and I'm wearing my Kievo shirt. There's a nice story behind it, which I will tell you once I look at this shirt. Kievo typically plays in uh, yellow, and they are supplied by Givova, uh, another Italian brand. And the nice thing about Kievo is always they overdo it with the uh, uh, knight on the horse or donkey. Uh, this kit is a little bit too yellow for me. I gotta be honest with you. Also that the uh, crest is on the sleeves. Um, and then you have this one sponsor in red and green. Yeah. Otherwise, of course, you gotta have the knight also on the bottom. They always had that. But a little this is a little bit too how to say too average in a way, and that's where I'm gonna go six. The away jersey though, that one looks great. And in a way, it's trying to copy Hellas. I mean, there is this, you have Hellas Verona and you have Kievo. And Kievo is this, if you've read, there's a great book, A Season with Verona, where an English journalist living in Verona goes to visit all the games of Hellas Verona. And he, only at the last moment, he says, yeah, Kievo is being promoted and they're a joke. And now they are, uh, they are probably the more successful Veronese team. And yeah, I, um, Hellas Verona had a very similar shirt uh, last season when they unfortunately got relegated. I like that they have the crest, the, um, the ladder, which is a very nice symbol. Uh, I like the colors and I like how, how the yellow is popping. That one is a really a strong one also. Note how the, sponsor, uh, the sponsors are white and then everything else is yellow on there. Um, that's a straight eight. And then we have the third jersey, which does the same thing, just white with navy blue. Uh, again, a little bit more colorful, and therefore I just give it a six. But yeah, there you have it. The first four teams from Serie A. I hope you liked that video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys. Um, and if you would like to see more of this video, like the upcoming installments, um, subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel.
If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.